Stop. 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 I have to go tell this man that now. I have to go. Where's Master Mario? Where's Master Mario? I need to tell him that. Nobody on the stream probably understands this joke, but I, me and Master Mario do. All right, well, Jintek did actually win a local. He won a local over his friend Scoop Dog. I can't remember the exact local, so he has an actual pretty good victory. Pretty solid Falco. Actually, one of the, at least the top three Falco in SoCal. I mean, if Larry didn't pick up Falco, he definitely would be the best Falco. Yeah, that's true. Facts. Real sad fact, man. Um, so, so he's definitely really good in terms of like his Falco play. He, I, I mentioned it earlier, right? Being that tier, being a tier master is definitely one of those things, right? Being a character loyalist pays its dividends. Oh, yeah. And for sure, having main Falco and back in Smash 4 and still main Falco in Smash Ultimate, it, it, it pays. It pays. Oh, yeah. But here we go. Joker versus Falco. You know, I feel like a lot of Falco's combos are kind of like uh, frame trapping with the up air. But, like, if you just land with the Rebels Guard, though, that's like free gauge. But that's the adaptation you need to make. This yeah. is a matchup that I feel like players need to learn. That's kind of something that I feel like we struggled back in Smash 4. We never really truly, I mean, learning the Bale matchup was really hard in general, and playing against Bale was hard, but we never did truly try to sit down and learn what makes this character work and what makes this character not work. And if I were Gintech, I need to start ridding myself against Rebel's Guard, because that's a free punish after the ending of it. All right, but here we go. Oh, try getting the punish with the grab, but unfortunately just gonna barely with it, but it gets the grab that time, and you know, going for the bear, but unfortunately, uh, Gintech uh, DI's down so they can tech into the stage. Yeah. I like what Phantom's doing. He's definitely uh, holding center stage really well and going for these grabs that are like... <laughs> up, I like throw, up throw, up throw won't work at those percentages. Right. It's actually usually below below 60. Right. It's usually like below like 30 or 40. Yeah. Yeah. Then then you have to go for the down throw and you have to hope that the DI in. He, doesn't even, he wasn't even down throwing up, right? He was up throwing up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I like, would have gone for the up. At least. Here you go, there's the re-grab, but unfortunately, no, he's gonna get down. Oh, he didn't get down smash for that, are you kidding me? That down smash was pretty big, yeah, down smash. Ooh. And yet again, uh, avoiding the fair right there, and yet again, Jintek is just barely, you know, whiffing all of his aerials, but there he goes, finally manages to land something, but not gonna quite get the up tilt the back air. Ooh, runs into the Aha. you know, that's damage over time, but, ooh, I like that, using the gun to kind of interrupt his approach option right there. Phantom slowly bringing it back, go for down throw. Jintek needs to watch the landing. One thing that Joker can do is really excel at the ledge trap game and even the edge guard game as well. Right. Ooh, just barely avoiding that uphill, but unfortunately getting hit with the... Oh! No! My man, you should have DI'd. You can DI that hit. You can actually DI that, 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 the laser. That was a potato DI right there. There was no DI. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I'm holding the controller and I hope I, I live. Yeah. No, that was, I'm holding the controller in so that I get hit by all the shots. My favorite thing though is when I see somebody DI and they move, they I physically move their controller like it's a Wii truck. No. Oh, he snuck in that one. Oh, and but that, that's it, that's it, that's yeah. it. And yet again, that was an unfortunate early stock from Phantom. But here we go, all these up airs and yet again, no. Combo, I like it, immediately knows he can go for the up so afterwards. No, oh, Phantom has some fans in the crowd here, but yeah. like fans aren't going to help you up on stage, so you gotta make those fans worth it. Yeah, you do. Down air, wait for the wait. For, I was gonna say wait yeah. for it, so we go for the up tilt. Right. And then again, just throwing around all these aerials. But I like what he's doing. Rather than approaching recklessly, he's kind of like waiting for what Jintek is gonna do, and I like that a lot because it shows that he's patient and waiting to see what he pulls out first. And like that, he's you no know, slowly but surely making up all this percent. Ooh, unfortunately, landing hit's gonna just snipe him right there for a second, but yet again, avoiding that fair. And I like it, don't don't try to go for the the, the punish off the ledge right there. Gets the bear off stage, he's he gonna go for the arch guard, and no, he's just gonna respect it a little bit too much. And that's kinda, that's kinda Jintek's fault, because he actually was like rolled twice, and he got hit by that back air. Jintek's doing so far so good, I mean, nothing to worry about. If your opponent does take a spot, you have another one to play with, and you have pretty much a kill percentage, especially for Falco. He's trying to get that up tilt, but that forward air won't do it. Can he go for the offstage play? You might be going for, I was going to say, I should have gone for Nair. Nair has enough lasting there, and he would have definitely caught him off guard. I mean, fair was also a really long lasting move, but, oh, oh no, no, he DI'd right. And yet again, no 130, but he gets a stock, you know, it, this is doable. 
This is doable with Arsene. You know, if yeah, he gets one is. dare off stage, like he can send Jintek to his depths. I like what Jintek is doing. He's like, I'm gonna peace shooter you with the, the lasers, you know, just try to get rid of Arsene as quickly as possible, because the second you lose that Arsene mm -hmm. is the second you lose your win condition. He should have offered grab. I, if, I, if I were Jintek right now, I wouldn't be that worried, but I'd be like a little bit hesitant yeah. to approach now because of how much percentage I'm getting against Phantom now. And he, just, he needs to pull back. Right now, I think what Jintek's only seeing is the victory. You need to see the whole match as a whole. There's a possibility here, and Phantom can still make the comeback. Oh, he lives! Oh my god, Phantom is just making this comeback. And you know what? He's going really aggressive with these fairs. And it's just, he, oh he my god. He needs to stop forward air. Yeah. That's his problem. He's only seeing the victory. You need right. to look at the fight as a whole. Forward air that might actually do it this time around. Yeah, and it will. He does. Oh my god, no. That was a super close match. Phantom definitely brought it back. I feel like Jintek was just sweating a little bit there. He's just like, okay, one of these fairs has to kill. Should have done the fusion dance with Shinta. Yeah. Well, finally, a little bit of a breather here for Jintek. Uh, you know, just to repeat myself a third time, just so that those folks back at home kind of understand what I'm alluding to here is, sometimes, especially at this level, a player will only see the victory. So mm -hmm. they will spam a move they know that kills. That's what happened to Jintek. He needed to kind of calm himself down and understand, I have the lead. If I can whiff his approaches, I will get the, I will get the kill. It all comes down to looking at the fight as a whole. In a boxing match, the players are just going to start swinging for the victory. They're going to slowly bring it down to a T until they get the victory, and they assure themselves the final hit is the last hit. That's what you need to do. You get tunnel vision. You start going for spammy moves, right. and you get stale moves as a result of it. Right. You saw him going for that fair. You know, I, there were a lot of times where he just didn't get that killing blow of fair. So yeah. they, he was able to live to like 170, 180%. But here we go on Kalos, you know, just living even longer on this stage. So... We'll see if, you know, Phantom is able to hold on his stock like he did the first game, or will Jintek be able to be uh, uh, comboing off of the whiff punishes like that? Yeah, and I'm telling you, you need to understand Rebel's guard and understand when your opponent's going to be going for it, and especially when they're getting comboed and going for a landing. It's a really good opportunity for them. And if you can snipe it out, you will get that huge percent lead, especially the one that Jintek has. Yeah, here we go. Yep. We'll nice. get the back error in the end. No stage tech. I mean, yeah. we got to do our techs in 2019 too, man. You guys got six months left. <laughs> it's been six months. Like, you, you need to learn to tech. There you go. Gets the grab to the fair. Tech is not going to be able to find it. It gets okay. another grab to bear. Yep. Nice. Gets the sign. Finds the landing here. Yeah. No, I like what Phantom's doing, but you know what? That up tail is just doing a lot of work for Jim Tech. I do like that Jintek kind of knows that he's going to be going for that kind of recovery, especially with uh, the Bellion Wings. Yeah. So he goes for the back immediately because he kind of already understood that, you know what, this kid's at a certain level where he just hasn't been able to tech on stage. So I can just go ahead and abuse the back, that, that simple yeah. back. And you saw him try and go for the dare there, but you no, know, using the, the the wall jump to you know, kind of avoid that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would have loved to have seen the Tomahawk guy, but good up to either way. Here you go. Here's the re-grab into the bear. Oh, just gonna barely avoid that fair. But here you go, another up tilt. Enough fair, not gonna be able to find its mark. And you know what? There's the punish. But here's our saying. No, he needs to find the stock now. Yeah. Oh, there's the punish. But no, he's gonna be a little bit too late to pull the trigger. You know what? I'd like. I, li I like that attempt. Too. Oh no, he didn't punish the re grab. Unfortunately, but oh. gets the bear. My man was robbed from that up tilt. I thought that up tilt was actually going to hit him, but that yeah. bear has so much rage with our set in play. I wish you guys could have heard what Stitch said. That was great. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Stitch saying it's actually even, but that's not a wrong statement. Like, that's basically what happened in the last stock last game. But you know what? If he can continue getting these, these combos, you know, just not dying, I feel like Falco's really struggling to find his kill option at this yeah, point. Yes, he definitely is. Jintek needs to stay calm, though. I feel like that was, that's what's kind of frustrating him. He's not staying calm. Went for, a, went for a spot dodge there. That was an opportunity for you to just go back to take center stage. Oh. No oh. DI on that one. You could have definitely DI'd. But you DI left or right to avoid the laser, especially those hyper sense. Yeah. And here we go. There's a fair into the offstage play. No, I'm just going to wait for the ledge drop. And that was a really bold down smash. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Yet again, I feel like Phantom's feeling that last stock pressure where he's just throwing out smash attacks. Yeah. 
Oh, I like it, looking to get that tech chase, but he missed the opportunity here. Jintek needs to be careful when he comes back on the stage, because right. I feel that Phantom slowly has caught on to that. And Jintek is a little bit too overzealous. Sometimes when you have come back to the stage, just be happy with it and try to retake center stage, especially with your hyper sense. Here we go. No, Jintek's going to be at like 160 by the end of this. Yeah. But or here Joel's go. not going to kill. He right. has to make that low recovery, though, and there was an opportunity for Phantom to possibly go for a downer. Oh. But Jintek kind of threw that stock away there right. a little too early. I don't know what happened here. I feel like he thought he had to jump in and just didn't find it. But yeah. you know what? Uh, get, managed to get a quick combo with Arsene before it ran out. That's good on, on Joker. So, ooh, unfortunately, not going to tech all that. So, you know what? This is nice definitely. Nice back air. Another one. Can Ooh. he go for a, a second time? And this oh, could be it. And no. Jintek finishes it off right. with that, that last forward that he was looking for, man. But Phantom, not too far behind. Right. 